can we just take a brief moment to appreciate the fact that the Penguins are no longer in the playoffs? Thank you, hockey gods. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday again. I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to today just because I had a hard time sleeping last night. The weather here is finally getting warmer, which unfortunately means that inside the apartment, it's starting to get really hot. There is no air conditioning here, so I've been sleeping with the window open, which is nice, but there's a lot of noise coming from the street, which is why I am intending to buy a fan this week. But anyway, I definitely just heard the bell ring, so I'm gonna stop talking and go outside and get my kids. All right, y'all, it is the end of the day on Monday and it is a little after four o'clock. I was anticipating leaving early today, but an impromptu meeting came up. I had to meet with the after school coordinator, the other two pre-K teachers and our PYP principal. So that ended up taking a little bit more time than I anticipated. In the morning, I would just put my kids in pairs and they worked together to find things in the I Spy pages that I projected on the board. And in the afternoon, we did some more work with the uppercase and lowercase stamps and postcards. But anyway, I actually have to run a few errands right now, so I am going to gather my stuff and get out of here. Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday, but it's actually basically Thursday because we only have a three day week this week. And honestly, I had no idea until like yesterday afternoon. So since it is a short week, the plans that I had for my guys are going to have to wait a little bit. So what I think we're going to do today during circle time is talk a little bit about the favorite places that we drew about in our journals last week and then have a group discussion about whether or not everybody in the class has been in those same places. And I think what we're going to do with this unit is similar to the second unit where they separated into inquiry groups where they worked in either pairs or groups of three together. But if I do that, then that means I need more unit books, which I don't want to get. Oh, no, I can use the unit books from the second unit and just add this stuff in there. I'm sure it'll work. Whatever. Anyway, I definitely just heard the bell, so I'm gonna go outside and get my kids. All right, y'all, it is the end of the day and it is a little bit after four o'clock. I was meeting with the other two pre-K teachers because we are organizing a lunch for the kids tomorrow. And basically what we did yesterday was we went to the grocery store over here and we bought a bunch of vegetables and snacks and things to make sandwiches. So in the morning during centers, we will be assembling lunches with our students. We will give them options and they'll be able to make their own lunches. And then we are planning to take them outside for a picnic. So we are really looking forward to it. It'll really be a nice way to spend the day. So since we pretty much have everything ready for tomorrow, I am going to gather my stuff and get out of here because the weather is super nice and I kind of want to go out and enjoy it a little bit. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, which means it's our Friday. It is our last day that we have to be at work this week, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. I am also feeling really happy today just because we're having a little bit of a special day today. But the bell has rung, so I have to go out and get my kids, so I'll explain to you later what's gonna be going on.
All right, y'all, it is the end of the day on Friday. It is a little bit before 4.30. We had a going away party for a staff member. She has been here as long as I've been here. So it was really nice to go up and say goodbye and just have a little bit of fun before we start our long weekend. Anyway, I know that I meant to tell you a little bit about what we were doing today and what we all did, all three pre-K classes, we decided that we would provide lunch for the students for today, kind of as a surprise. So we kind of broke it up and I think I took a little bit of video, but we broke it up into four different things. They had to pick some vegetables, they made a sandwich, they picked like one of the little fruit smoothies and they got a treat so they could pick a cinnamon cracker or a little fruit bar and they were in charge of building their own lunch and taking something from every table so we try to keep it really simple the kids really enjoyed putting their lunches together and then as an extra surprise, we took them into the forest and just found a little area for them to play and they got to eat lunch and they got to run around and it was just a really, really pleasant way to spend the afternoon. So anyway, I really didn't want to rush through that. I know that this vlog is really short, but then again, it is only a three day week. So I feel like that's okay but I actually have to quick get my stuff together and get out of here because I am meeting a friend in the park because it is beautiful. It is sunny and it is in the 70s, so I'm just gonna go out and enjoy the afternoon and get started on my weekend. So I will see you next week. It's still wobbling. Why is it wobbling? I can't stop the wobble. Oh, I didn't turn my computer on. Oh, I didn't turn my computer on. Itchy, 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 itchy. Why am I so itchy? Let me try that again. Then, 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 then. So, why can't I talk? Huh. I can't say words. Ah. <sighs> <coughs> 